today we are going to see how we can solve the at fault issue in our fire alarm system let's see how it going to be easier for us to solve it as you can see we have a fault in our system which is indicating the ground fault in one of our loop let's see which loop is that so as you can see we have a loop 33 is the ground fault and then we can check how many detectors are connected with that loop for that just go to the service menu there you can find the loops then you can scan the loop also there as you can see here we have a totally 41 detectors which is connected there including manual call point smoke heat and flame detectors so let's measure in the loop max here you can find a fault identification lights which is indicating here and our left side is a uh, input and right side is output side i'm gonna measure the voltage now supposed to be 34 yeah 34 the voltage will vary depends on the load let's measure the other end let's measure with the ground also so i'm gonna use a minus probe on the ground plus probe on the polarity so the first one is a minus so that's why it's showing in the negative polarity in the mid multimeter plus yeah so that means we have a grounded in our positive polarity right so this is the one and here is the input side so i'm going to disconnect these cables as you can see here already split the circuit so this is our a and b side already i removed so now we have all three alarms in our system those two alarms because i remove the loop cable that's why we have a cable break and short circuit isolator alarm after the troubleshooting we found one of a manual call point cable is grounded with our steel plates so as you can see the cable is uh, the, there was some water leakage then it's oxidized and grounded so after i fix the cable now we can measure the voltage here with the ground you have to measure it and uh, positive polarity is 16 voltage before was 33 something right our positive polarity was zero negative polarity was 33 now everything is good so after i fix the cable so let's go to measure in our control panel as you can see here the return voltage is good so we clear our fault so we're gonna connect back our cable and then we're gonna reset the alarm let's see okay um, we'll connect the cable now make sure you are connecting the right cable i mean the polarity and then properly have to connect it not to lose any, any contacts so now we can reset our alarms false false now surprisingly i had a one more alarm with other loop so as you can see now there is no fault indications there so we cleared all our own. that's it thanks for watching keep support us please subscribe and share our videos